Why do you say it so? is very laughable. And I say so because Ghanaians are wild awake. The days when Dr. Bawumia could get away with his lectures, as we saw in opposition, at which he peddled obvious untruths, lies, economic, you no know, textbook economic theories that had no practical basis to would wink the people of this country for their votes are long gone. That is the bad news I have for Baumia. He got away with it in 2016. He got away in 2020. But I'm here to tell them that they will not be third time lucky in 2024 because Baumia has been unmasked. That, that whole propaganda that he was the economic messiah Ghana needed and that he had a magic wand to solve the problems of this country has been exposed. That lie has been exposed. And all the things he said in 2012, in 2016, the promises he gave, the economic theories he propounded, have all turned out to be lies. And so today, the people of this country have no confidence or trust in Baumia. That is the biggest challenge Baumia, his advisors, his spokespersons, the MPP, are faced with today. They are faced with the challenge of defending and marketing a presidential candidate who has proven time and again to be a habitual and a chronic liar, an what? unrepentant liar, a man bereft of credibility. Look, it was this Baumia, the same Baumia, who in the run-up to the 2016 elections told us that we don't have to borrow for rules. And that he has worked at the Bank of Ghana before. He knows that the money is here. You remember that mm -hmm. statement? And that all Ghana needed to do was to tow the rules. And that we could raise enough money to build all the rules in this country. Have we soon forgotten? Have we soon forgotten? We gave him the opportunity. What is the reality today? He has supervised the most reckless borrowing we have ever seen in the history of this country. This government has borrowed more than all governments from Nkrumah to John Mahama put together, increasing our public debt from 120 billion as of 2016 December to over 600 billion as of December 2022, which led to the country defaulting on its debt obligations for the first time in 40 years. Today, Ghana is a bankrupt country. Today, Ghana's economy is a junk economy because we have a liar at the helm of affairs of the economic management team who told us that we don't have to borrow for rules, but has borrowed so much and plunged this country into a ditch. Was, this, was it not the same Baronia who in 2016 told us that vote for us and that in only 18 months mm -hmm. of an Akufuado Bawomia government, no community in Ghana will have a water or a toilet problem. Mm -hmm. Have we forgotten? Have we forgotten? These were not manifesto promises where you will say that, oh, they fulfilled some and could not fulfill others. These were not even found in the MPP's manifesto. But mm -hmm. this man, this flip-flopper, concocted and fabricated these obvious lies for the sole purpose of winning votes. Today, have we solved the water problems in Ghana? Mm -hmm. He's in his eighth year. Have we solved all the toilet problems in Ghana? The words of a liar. You believe him at your own peril. Was it not this old man, this same flip-flopper, Baumia, who told us that John Mahama had imposed so many taxes on us? And that the taxes were hurting the economy. And that John Mahama is incompetent. He doesn't know that we are in a global economy. And that when you impose taxes like that, you plunge the country into a cyclical downward spiral. Mm -hmm. And that when they come, they will reduce taxes. Mm -hmm. They will move us from taxation to what? Production. Mm -hmm. Today, what are we producing? Where is the production? 
Where is the movement from taxation to production? He has slapped over 40 taxes on Ghanaians as chairman of the economic management team. And they still have the effrontery. He still has the effrontery, the temerity to produce, to promise that he will reduce taxes. I will come to that. He I will come to that. Executive authority. So he, they he, don't even understand he, he, what is executive authority. He can't be held responsible see, for all of these taxes. I, I was shocked when I heard my brother use that term. Why? They don't. They don't know the meaning of simple words. What is executive authority? Every officer who belongs or official who belongs to the executive arm of government exercises executive authority. The ultimate executive authority is vested in the president, but he has delegated that executive authority to his vice, to his ministers. So all the members of the executive arm of government, mm -hmm. exercise, so it is illiterate mm -hmm. for you to sit on television and say a vice president does not exercise, exec he exercises what? Legislative authority. What authority was he using for his so-called digitalization programs? What authority was that? What authority was that? He said, they don't even understand what they are saying. The paucity of, of, of knowledge. My brother, was it not the same Bawomia who stood at Cape Coast, just this 2020? Mm -hmm. And said, are good people of Cape Coast, I have good news for you. We are building for you an ultra-modern harbor. Mm -hmm. When at the time, not a single block had been laid anywhere for the construction of a harbor. Even his own boss, the president, when he was asked in a radio interview about this promise, denied knowledge. Mm -hmm. That should tell you how dishonest mm -hmm. this man, Bawumia, we are talking about is. What am I trying to tell you? I'm trying to tell you that if the messenger lacks credibility, his mm -hmm. message is gibberish. His message is junk. Mm -hmm. There is nothing you can do with the words of a liar. Mm -hmm. Look, was it not Bawumia who told us that John Mahama was incompetent, and so the fundamentals of our economy were weak. And that if the fundamentals of your economy are weak, the exchange rate will expose you. Today, what is the state of our fundamentals, economic fundamentals? What is the state of the exchange rate? He told us, I have arrested the dollar and given the keys to the IGP. Today, the dollar has broken jail, broke jail a long time ago, and has moved from four cities in 2016 to now 12 cities, 60 pesos. And this is after it hit a record high of 17 cities by November 2022. Do you know the millions of money businessmen lost? Do you know that to date many businesses have not recovered? Do you know that? And you still have the effort to come and sit on television and make promises? Baumia, who promised just this 2023 last year. In January of 2023, he promised that by the end of 2023, all SHS students will get free tablets. By May, he amended the promise and said, all SHS students by the end of 2023 will get laptops which will have installed on them textbooks. He has flattered to deceive completely on this promise. Not a single tablet was distributed in this country to any SHS student. And today he can still come and promise free laptops for university students because he doesn't respect Ghanaians. These people, they don't have a modicum of respect for Ghanaians. They think we are some zombies to believe this liar, this flip-flopper again. Where are the model schools he promised to build in the 16 regions for Zongo communities? Where are the concrete roads? He said we didn't even need asphalt roads. He will give us concrete roads. This is the man we are talking about here. Alfred, even in this latest speech, Baumia peddled so many lies that sometimes you ask yourself, won't this man repent? So you, the reference you make to the the, the laptops, mm -hmm. this was on May 29. Laptops. 20, 20, 20. Then you, you will see said, the no, tablets so, too. So, 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 so it says, government will next academic year supply all senior high schools with laptop computers yes. with inbuilt textbooks. textbooks. This was May. This, and then be this, even before that, in January, he had promised free laptops. You will see that one to Google it. You see, that is why all the scientific polls we are seeing are saying that Ghanaians don't trust Baumia. What I'm holding here is the latest scientific poll conducted by Global Info Analytics, published in January 2024. And he said, who do you trust to fix the economy? The respondents. Only 26% said they trust Baumia. 54% said they trust Mahama. Who do you trust to create jobs? 26% Baumia. Mahama, 53%. He is so discredited that even in his own party, 
almost 40% of the leaders in his own party don't have confidence in him. Look, in his latest speech, many lies. Number one, Bawomia lied. About what? When he said About what? that this day he has introduced online passport application. Look, this is the evidence. Online passport application launched to ease process. 12 December 2016. 21st December 2016, more than Ghana. Anybody can Google it. We piloted this thing in 2014 at the Ministry of Foreign Affairs under the leadership of Anatete. The technical committee was headed by Ambassador Christian, the chief director of the ministry. By December, we launched it. This liar claims that he introduced online passport application. Fact check Ghana has fact checked this claim. This is fact check Ghana. Mm -hmm. False, but Wumia did not initiate online passport application. Look at them. Liars. Now, again, he lied, like lawyer Martin Pegu said. That he has fixed Zunso. How did he fix Zunso? When he has not added a single megawatt of power to our generational capacity or invested in the power sector. What all they have done is to build and accumulate debts in the power sector. Today, the indebtedness of Ghana in the power sector alone is over 23 billion. We owe the IPPs, IPPs over 1.4 billion. Mm -hmm. This is MPP presidential aspirants. Nana Puku. NDC deserves credit for ending doom so. You mean Kojo Poku? Kojo Poku. It is here. NDC. Energy analyst. He appears on this show. Allah? Mm -hmm. yes. Bawomia, March 2016. Mahama deserves no credit for fixing doom so. This was an interview he had in the studios of Joy News. Kojo Yangsen, your good friend, interviewed him. And he was talking about doom so. And he was reminded that low shedding had ended on the 24th of December 2015. And that Mahama had brought in the power badges. Just like he said he would fix them, so he had fixed it. He said, oh, even though Mahama has fixed it, we shouldn't give him the credit. That is Baumia. Today, he's lying that he fixed them, so. Their own majority leader, Osei Chemensa Bunsu, on Kumasi Beze FM, a few weeks ago, said Mahama fixed them, so. But at a high cost. Haven't you seen that tape? The publications are here. He says that they have created 2.1 million jobs. The worst of a liar. In February... 2021, the Minister for Employment and Labor Relations told Parliament that this government from 2017 to 2020 had created 3 million jobs. This is it. Over 3 million jobs created in the Kufuado first term. Ignatius Balfour. Then on the 16th of September, 2022, no, 2022, yes, this same Minister for Employment and Labor Relations told Parliament that they have now created 5.3 million jobs. You can Google it. Mm -hmm. My job online mm -hmm. yeah, yeah, uh, yes, published a yes, story. 5.3 million jobs. From 3 million to 5.3. Then Bawomia on 27th April 2023, last year, on his Twitter handle, says that they have created 2.2 million jobs. We are in 2024. The figure has transmogrified again to 2.1 million jobs. Look at the way they continue to change the figures. Liars. Where did you create 2.1 million jobs, Bawumia? Today, the unemployment rate has increased from 8.4% in 2016. According to the Ghana Living Standards Survey 7, conducted in 2016 by the Ghana Statistical Service, unemployment has increased from 8.4 to almost 14%, all-time high, as that, we speak. That statement you attribute to uh, Ignatius Bafwe Wa was made on the 16th of September. Exactly. The, 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 let me see. It says government has created 5.3 million jobs since assuming office in 2017. Yes. So how and did the figure I, get to 2.1 million? This says, is the minister in charge of the labor and no, employment I, 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 statistics. I'm, I'm, I'm it says data assembled by his outfit. Bro, you because of time. From ministry, anybody can read it. Agencies. Everything is there. 5.3 so, million jobs. I'm trying to let you know how dishonest they are. Look. I'm saying, if you have created all these jobs, they should have been under employment in Ghana today. Nobody should be unemployed no. in Ghana. You know why? Because by 2016, according to the Ghana Living Standards 7, Lady Sada, uh, Ghana Living Standards Service 7, the total number of unemployed people in Ghana was 1,027,000. 2021 population centers, total number of unemployed people, 1.5 million. If you've created 5.3 million jobs, or over 3 million jobs, or 2.2 million jobs, within this period, whichever figure you want to believe, because clearly they are lying, then you should have eliminated unemployment. So why has unemployment increased from 8.4 to almost 
What happened to Napco? What happened to your mad touted you stats? All of them have turned out to be total fiascos. Then he lies again about mobile money interoperability and so on. I will deal with other lies. But let's come to the economy. You see, Bawomia is living his own wonderland. This man has lost touch with the realities of Ghanaians. And it is the same disease that spokespersons of Bawomia, like my good brother sitting in this studio with us today, are suffering from. Why are you lost saying? touch? You are here in spite of the economic bankruptcy you have thrown the country into. The mess, the hardships, the suffering, the pain you have plunged Ghanaians into. You sit here and say the economy is better than it was under Mahama. You guys have no shame. Show me one economic index or matrix which is better today under Bawumia, chairman of the economic management team, than it was under Mahama. Show me one. In 2016, the budget deficit was 6.1%. Not the figure, the, the false figure Bawumia quoted at paragraph 9 of his speech. 6.1. I've read it. And By where are you 20. I mean, check, 2017 budget, it is there. 2016, the GDP was 215 billion. The deficit, in terms of the, the, the expenditure versus revenue, was 13.1 billion. Do the math, 6.1%. This is rebased deficits. By 2020, the deficit rose to 15.6%. Not the 10 point something percent, the false figure that we may have put out, because they are hiding some under the guise of so-called below the line. And the IMF says they will have none of that. That is a deficit. 2021, 12%. The deficit has been in double digits in the last three years. We'll talk Look, about the growth, the growth rate. Because he, the growth Ag rate. Agba made a connection of, of that Maza, I'm coming. earlier. When we're leaving uh, office 2016, growth rate 3.6. What is the growth rate now? What is the growth rate now? Around 1.5. In 2020, 0 0.5. Check 2021, check 2022. How is that better than what you came to meet? Rate of inflation, 15.4%. Under Mahama, today inflation, 23%. After going as up to 54% in December 2022. Because the Bank of Ghana printed 45 billion in that year alone for this government. And Bawumia says the Bank of Ghana did well. Because he was the one directing them to do that thing, to breach the Bank of Ghana Act. And because of that, over 800,000 Ghanaians were pushed into poverty because of that reckless act. Unemployment was 8.4%, like I said. Today is 14%. How is that better? Food inflation, 8.7%, 2016. Today, 28.7%. How is that better? When was the last time Samira and Bahumia went to the Malata market? Which, which he used to cite for his economic lectures. My husband huh? is a whiskey. Well, uh, lending <laughs> rates, 26% average Liana Mahama. Today, yes. the interest rate, over 32%. That is after it went as high as 38-40% in 2022. Today, interest rate in Ghana is the highest in the whole of Africa. Under Bawumia. Industry sector grew by 4.3%. 4.3% growth rate for industry sector. 2016. What is my source? Page 167 of 2024 budget statement, Appendix 1C. 4.3% growth rate industry sector. What is the growth rate of for industry sector? Negative 1.2. Negative. Growth rate for manufacturing sector. John Mahama, 7.9. The so-called apostles of one district, one factory. What is the growth for manufacturing sector as we speak today? Negative 1%. Growth for construction sector. John Mahama, 8.4, 2016. The same appendix 1C of the 2024 budget. What is the growth for the uh, construction sector? Negative 5.0. You sit here and lie through your teeth because you have no shame. That when you came, the economy was in a mess and the economy is better. Really? When we left you $250 million in the stabilization fund, which was your, your savior when COVID struck, when your mama left you $270 million, set aside in the Ghana Investment Infrastructure Fund, when John Mahama left you $250 million, huh? apart from the Ghana Infrastructure Fund, the Stabilization Fund, the Sinking Fund, $250 million, to repay part of the first Euro bond, Kofo contracted $750 million, because we had already paid over $300 million. That is the mark of visionary leadership. We left you 
Almost 1 million tons of cocoa production, 966,000 metric tons. Today, cocoa production okay. is at a 13 year low, Africa. below no, 500,000. No. I've heard them coming. So, there is nothing, even if you want to compare their records as chairman, chairman of the economic management team, because Joe Mama was chairman of the economic management team, his tenure <clears> ended in 2012. Let's compare. Under John Mahama, chairman of the economic management team. Look, our debt to, to GDP, you, I'm, I'm you spoke for you, almost 30%. You, so, Let me have so, my time. So, so, debt to GDP, 48%. Clear in the time I gave to you. Under Baumia, we have defaulted on our debt. We can't even pay our debt. Even the military rulers did better. And the champion, it was, now it is, we don't have the money. Bankrupt nation. Our okay. credit rating was B. Mm -hmm. Today, and Baumia is what? CCC, junk, baller economy. You people have no shame. Growth rate, Mahama, 9.2. In fact, the highest growth rate ever in the history of Ghana was achieved when Jan Mahama was the head of the economic management team. A growth rate of 14.4% in 2011, the highest in the history of Ghana. And that John Mahama is chairman of the economic management team. An, an, an advisory body. <laughs> so, really? The excuses uh, what, again. What, 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 Look, what, let me what, tell you something. What, what, what are you taking They continue for? to say that because they don't respect the Ghanaians. Bawomia, Bawomia, in opposition, was projected with his approval mm -hmm. as the brain power, economic brain power of the MPP. Akufuadu told us, and I'm sure you've watched that video, mm -hmm. that the sole reason why he made Bawomia his running mate, because mm -hmm. he was an economist who he believed could stabilize the economy. Mm -hmm. When he won power, Bawomia headlined all government lectures and programs on the economy. Mm -hmm. Bawomia is the chairman of the economic management team. Yeah. The finance minister is under him. The mm -hmm. governor of the Bank of yeah. Ghana is under him. The trade minister, all of them under him. Mm -hmm. The State of the Nation address you made reference to 2018. Akufuado said it. He said, all my economic successes are attributable to the stellar leadership of Bawumia as head of the economic management team. His own wife, Samira Bawumia, in opposition, told us that my husband is the one driving the economic policies of government. The, the senior minister, <laughs> Osafu Manfo, told us that they are where they are because of the hard work and leadership of Bawumia. Mm -hmm. Hypocrite like you. When it is good, it is you. When it is bad, it's a kufuado. How can you approbate and reprobate? How come that Baumia says we should give him the credit for $1 million per constituency, for a one ambulance, one constituency, for digitalization and so on? And then when it comes to the economic mess, the destruction of, of the economy, he says, I don't know anything about that. So nobody will accept Round that cock me. and boo story. Okay. He's right. And yeah, I'm, I'm, let me come to the deceptive promises. Round it Look. Up. Yes, we are ending there. He talks about the fact that I'm coming to scrap taxes. Really? Really? But what Mia told us in opposition, that e-levy will not be imposed and should not be imposed. This is the story. Momo tax will discourage digitalization, affect the poor. August 26, 2020, he made this statement on PCFM. We voted for him, only for him to help in crafting the e-levy and, and impose it on Guineans. Look. These are the words of the Minister for Information, Koyo Ponkroma. E Levy, Bawomia instrumental in certain 100 Ghana cities pro poor threshold. You read the story, the quotation is there. I have the video. Koyo Ponkroma is. This, oh, well, he, he said he didn't say, he say it. That's not true. I have the video. You have the video. And I have he direct quotations here. Oh, Everything he is here. He said it. Okay, no, okay, no problem. Is, no, 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 okay, no, no, okay. No, 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 oh, so he didn't no, say it. Okay, let's go to the General Secretary of the NPP at the time who sits in cabinet, John Bordo. Bawomia is in full support of e-levy, John Boadu reviews. Even Google, Bawomia supports e-levy, give you a work with his own spokesperson. Mind your online, there's a story. Then this man comes to tell us that I will scrap it. Why? What, you introduce it. You were instrumental in crafting it. Why won't you scrap it now? What happened to your promise to move us from taxation to production? Why should we believe any promise from the lips of this liar? Then he says that, oh, um, I'm coming to reduce the size of government, even as we speak. As we speak, Bawomia has 25 advisors, aides, and spokespersons. 25. I have the full list here. This man is part of it. 25. Mm. 25, Vice President. Abba, in only 25 nine. In 25. You have 25. 25. No, no, Amba, do you 25. have 25? I have the full list here. No, if he no. challenges me, I will mention all of them. You have 25? Hold on, hold on, hold on. I see. 25. In only nine months of 2021, according to documents the chief of staff submitted, 
on expenditure for office of government machinery to parliament in only nine months. But we have spent four million CDs, equivalent to 40 billion old CDs on so called emergency expenses. Baumia, this Baumia, the emission tax, the bad thing tax, the emission tax, especially which he says he will scrap, that on electricity. He was the one who proposed it to the IMF because Baumia led that IMF negotiation team. When the team came, they met with him. He proposed it and the IMF agreed to that. How can you turn around because okay. you think we are some zombies and tell us that you will scrap it? Finally, on this issue of corruption, Alfred, look, Baumia is the embodiment of corruption. In fact, he's a working case of corruption. And we, it is laughable and ridiculous for anybody to think that because some people are naive, they can deceive us that the man is incorruptible. Look, with that dispute, the biggest corruption scandal in the history of this country was orchestrated by Baumia, the PDS scandal. He was the one. You will laugh because you have no respect for Ghanaians. You will laugh because you are benefiting. What do you expect from a man who feed from the crumbs that falls from the table of Baumia? That is why you are laughing. Because if you are a Ghanaian struggling like all of us, and you know that because of Baumia's reckless decision to change the requirement of a bank guarantee into an insurance guarantee from a condition precedent to a condition subsequent, and without any due diligence, gave our 20 billion asset ECG to a group of fosters in the west of Amiwu who collected light bills from us to the tune of 1.5 billion cities. And today, they have absconded with the money. They say they will not refund the money to the state. You will not be laughing. That is the PDS scandal. And according to the IEA, we lost $2 billion as a country because of that. The stolen rice scandal, he was desperately denying. I'm putting it on record here that that corruption scandal has everything to do with Baumia. Because even according to the charge sheet, that letter, the director of administrator in the office of Baumia Root was written on the letterhead of Baumia, number one. He, it was written on his express instructions. A Muslim who steals people's rights for Ramadan donations. Today, the guy is being prosecuted, Kenneth say his administrator. Mm -hmm. Yet, because Baumia was the one behind it, he is still working in Baumia's office. He is behind it? If what he, do you mean? Because presumption of regularity. Mm -hmm. If you write a letter, on the letterhead of Baumia, yeah. as his director of administrator, and yeah. for, on his, or for and on his behalf, mm -hmm. to steal somebody's rice. Mm -hmm. And the man has still kept you at post. But he said he, he, he knew not, nothing about it. So why is, it, it. Why is the he man still at post? About you, it. if you use TV Trace letterhead mm -hmm. to write a letter to defraud no. somebody, will you still be at post? Finally, finally, the man, let me just conclude on, hold on, hold on, hold on. in 30 seconds. There, there's, let me there's, conclude. There's, 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 I need to do it quick, quickly. I'll oh, conclude. just 30 seconds. Let me just land. Then if you don't even come, it's fine. Mm -hmm. A vice president mm -hmm. who a minister of state has been caught on tape, Charles Adubwai, mm -hmm. minister of state in charge of finance in the Galamse economy documentary, mm -hmm. caught on tape, directing businessmen to Baumia to go and pay bribes to the tune of $200,000. Mm -hmm. Because he says that this is a habitual bribe taker. How the, can you convince the, 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 this the, 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 man? That. Yes, it is on the tape. To, why will why would Charles Adubuai get the courage to mm. direct investors mm. to go and pay two hundred thousand dollars bribe to Baumia mm -hmm. if he doesn't know that Baumia is in the habit and in the business of collecting bribes? Well, the this man, this man who has made his brother-in-law deputy director of uh, 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 Nadbo, mm -hmm. uh, his father-in-law ambassador to Saudi Arabia, his own sister, the CEO of Nord, the Northern Development Authority, under whose tenure four hundred tricycles have vanished into thin air, yeah. his own brother, technical yeah. advisor that, that, to, 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 to the minister. On, and so let on. Me, let me he claims he is selfless. And, uh, so please, nobody should take this man serious. And indeed, Bafua, Jimenea, nobody takes him is, serious. Is